Welcome to Electro Online, and here we're going to show you what the effect is when you have two current carrying wires side by side, but the current is in the opposite direction. To the left, I1, current is upward. To the right, I2, current is downward. The two wires are one centimeter apart, and they're both three meters long when they're running side by side. So what is the force between those two wires? Again, the way we do that is first we'll look at the first wire and realizing that it will have a magnetic field around it because of current flowing through the first wire. Let me use the orange color to indicate the direction. So here you can see if you use your right hand, thumb in the direction of the current, the fingers curl in the direction of the B field. So to the right, the B field is into the board. To the left, the B field is out of the board. Of course, when I say B field, I really mean magnetic field. So into the board to the right. and out of the board to the left, like so. Now, that means that the second wire experiences a magnetic field caused by the first wire. And because the second wire has a current and it's inside a magnetic field, it will experience a force. What will be the direction of the force? Well, here, use your right hand. Take your fingers, point them in the direction of the current, and then you have to turn your hand around Notice then you curl your fingers in the direction of the magnetic field, which is into the board, and your thumb will point to the right, which means that there will be a force to the right. And we can say that is the force on wire 2. Okay, what will be the magnitude of that force? Well, we know that the force on a current carrying wire, so F on 2, is equal to the current in wire 2, times the strength of the B field that it's in, and that's caused by wire one, so we'll go B sub one, times the length of the wire where they run parallel, where the wire runs through the B field like that. Now we, of course, have to figure out what the B field is over here caused by wire number one. And the B field, so that's B field caused by wire number one is equal to mu sub naught divided by two pi times the current divided by the distance between the wires. So let's plug in some numbers. Mu sub naught divided by 2 pi, that is equal to 2 times 10 to the minus 7. The current, now notice that the B field caused by wire number 1, the magnetic field, of course, depends on the current in wire number 1, which is 4 amps, divided by the distance between the two, which will be 0 0.01 meter. All right, so it would be 8 times 10 to the minus 7 divided by 0 0.01, that is 8 times 10 to the minus 5. 8 times 10 to the minus 5 Teslas. So that goes in here. So the force on 2 is equal to the current in wire number 2, which is 6 amps, times the magnetic field, 8 times 10 to the minus 5, times the length of the wire, which would be 3 meters. That would be 18 times 8. So that's uh, 18 times 8 equals, so that's 1.44 force on 2 equals 1.44 times 10 to the minus 3 newtons for that 3 meter section of wire. Okay, now what happens to wire number 1 caused by the magnetic field from wire number 2? So again, we're looking for the force on wire number 1, and we know there's going to be force because we know that wire number 2 also is going to have a magnetic field. Take your right hand, take your thumb, point in the direction of the current and your fingers will curl in the direction of the magnetic field. Notice that to the left the field is into the board and to the right the field is out of the board. So using a different color into the board will be like this. And to the right will be out of the board. Like so. Now, we can see here there's a magnetic field over here caused by the second wire which means there's going to be a force on the first wire. And to find out the direction of that force Use the right hand, take your fingers in the direction of the current, then curl your fingers in the direction of the magnetic field, and the thumb will point in the direction of the force, which means that the force here will be to the left. And that is the force on one caused by the magnetic field of wire number two. And then to find out what the magnitude of that force is, force on one is equal to the current in wire number one times the B field caused by wire number two times the length that that wire is exposed to the B field width, so in this case, three meters. Now we need to find the B field caused by wire number two, which is equal to mu sub naught divided by two pi times the current in wire number two divided by the distance, the location where we're interested in the strength of the B field. 
Okay, so this here, that quantity is 2 times 10 to the minus 7. The current in y number 2 is 6 amps, and the distance is 0 0.01 meter. So that would be 12 divided by 0 0.01, and that looks like it's 1. That would be 12 times 10 to the minus 5. So this is 12 times 10 to the minus 5 uh, Teslas. And then we plug that into the equation over here. The current in y number 1 is 4 amps. The magnetic field is 12 times 10 to the minus 5 and then the length is 3 meters, so 3 times 4 is 12, times 12 is 144, which is 1.44 times 10 to the minus 3 newtons. And sure enough, notice that the force on wire number 1 caused by the magnetic field of wire number 2 is exactly the same as the force on wire number 2 caused by the magnetic field on wire number 1. The only difference, and we saw that in the last, uh, in the last video, in the last video, the two forces were, the two currents were in the same direction and the forces were towards each other. In this case, in this example, the current is in opposite directions and therefore the forces are away from each other. But the whole idea of how to calculate the force and magnetic field is exactly the same in both examples. So here you can see, if the currents are in opposite directions, the force is away from each other. If the current is in the same direction, the force is towards each other. And that's how you do that.